Yes. In the name of the Holy Ghost, Matthew 28, 19. Yes. You know, um, this idea of knowing what a person's doing or saying or thinking, yes. It really violates a lot of what it means to be able to step into the omniscience. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you thought mm, that you had the right to violate, but you don't. Now, I used to spend approximately an hour a day in empty sanctuaries just praying that I would have the understanding of how to prosper. <laughs> And then Deacon was born and born at Olympic Medical Center, the same son that's on the football team in the Quilcene High School. Heidi probably remembers when I fasted for 11 days and I was on the Family Leave Act. Yeah. It was kind of a self-imposed leave. I realized the needs of a, a wife that had three little boys and a blind daughter. Ouch. And uh, I fasted. I did lose quite a bit of weight, but I thought that God had something to prosper me. Yeah. Wanted me to receive the prosperity that would happen if I were obedient to what I thought that God wanted me to do. Well, what happened after I fasted? Things began to unravel. Wasn't long after that. Yes. Mm-hmm that I decided that I was no longer wanted at Washington Mutual and I started a business called James Thomas and King Financial Service. Zachary James, Bishop Thomas, and Deacon King. Now, you would think a middle name, King, K-I-N-G, was, well, somewhat of a weird middle name, but when you think that your family's royalty and you pray and you step in the omniscience and you're prospering, I thought that my sons had some special significance. As in, you decided to give custody of them to my wife yeah, without any due process to myself as a father. So then I find out through the Peninsula Daily News that they're in the wrong grades and they're going to graduate when they're 19 and a half years old. And you're going to obstruct me from suing you. You're going to obstruct me. Yeah. You're going to sit there every fucking day. Fooch. Now, I'm going to want to have the absolute privacy of prayer. <laughs> now, looking at Deacon King's. Yes, Deacon King. Yeah. See, when you think about what to name your child, oh, Zachary James, it's not Zachariah, not really Zach either, Ouch. it's Zachary, mm -hmm. and now uh, the James, there is a, a book in the Bible um, that has James, yes, somewhat significant, we can look at it in just a few minutes, yes, because it's only 8.37 in the morning, and we're doing Bible reading this morning, mm. now these five sons that you took from me, mm. You're going to thank God when you lose everything you own. You never gave me notice of court hearings. You never gave me any of the actual documentation that was admitted to the court as justification for being able to issue a dissolution of marriage. You never actually considered the United Nations marriage certificate. And I didn't get a copy of the dissolution of marriage. See, what you decided to do, yes, is play God. <coughs> But my thought was, as a father, see, the middle name is King. Mm. Mm -mm. It's not a deacon of a church. I intentionally misspelled the mm, the word deacon. Oh. D-E-A-K-O-N, not D-E-A-C-O-N. Now, he was born on April 18th of 2004. And as I remember, it was July... 31st of 2004 that I had left Washington Mutual. Mm. You could look at my CRD, or in fact, you could go through every CRD of all of those that are registered and licensed individuals that can deal in securities, mutual funds, or mm, quite possibly commodities. <laughs> could you get me all of the CRD? <laughs> now, um, when Deacon was born, I was really impressed to fast. Yes. 
His mother's name is Heidi Lee Griggs. Ouch, her maiden name, but his father's name is Paul Chad Budneck. Papa! <laughs> now, as I remember, it was July 31st of 2004. I had prayed and fasted, and I felt impressed that God wanted me to start my own business. Yes. And um, I rented a space at 224 West Washington Street. Now, you say I'm crazy today? Mm. Are you saying I'm crazy? Are you fucking saying I'm crazy today? I actually did purchase a house at 323 West 1st Street. Mm -hmm. Behold, before Heidi and I got married. Oh, oh. Um, see this birth certificate? Yes, we did live on Guam in 2011. Oops. We did apply for housing, and every time I started losing what I had, first it was leaving Washington Mutual in 2004, I think it was 2004, July of 2004, July. Well, in September of 2005, I think we bought a house in uh, Vancouver, Washington. <clears throat> now, um, I went through... Uh, well, uh, an audit from uh, the NASD at that time. Could you get me all the employees of FINRA, the Security Exchange Commission? Yes. And all of those that have the authority of law to arrest. Poach. Now, I know you don't think that financial services are that important to the United States of America because... <laughs> 